Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and uh, we are back with another example chart today. And uh, many of you had asked me how to judge ups and downs in career. So there you go. We are discussing career today. So this, I hope you can see this chart. Uh, this is of a person born on sixth May, nineteen eighty-nine. 1359 New Delhi India so whenever you are talking of ups and downs in career what what we do generally is uh, we take for example the person is born in 1989 and then we add 22 years you can see this so that means 2011 okay so then we go to the dasha then check what's going on so if you check this uh, the person is running Rahu Mahadasha since 2009 and this is 2011. So that means uh, this Rahu period, uh, the Rahu Antar Dasha, Rahu Mahadasha ends and then Jupiter Dasha starts during this time. Then Saturn, then Mercury, then yeah. So, so that's, uh, that's how you study this actually. So if you... So by the time this Mercury Dasha ends, this person would have completed 30 years. So uh, these three Antar Dashas will primarily decide what will be the initial phase of the person's career like, or will the person be doing masters or the person will do job or will he have ups and downs, whatever. All right, so let us discuss how do you check that including the Mahadasha and the, then the Antardasha. All right. So as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your career, then please go to my website down below in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So let's discuss Rahu. So if you go back here, Now, this is the Lagna chart. Okay, so just for explanation purposes, I have not included the Bhav chart because uh, many of you said that you were very much confused. Uh, but the Bhav chart is very important okay, to discuss. So as of now, let us assume that these planets are in the same houses as in the same signs. Okay. Now, this is not necessary in the Bhav chart, but the aim of this video is not to explain what bhav chart is. The aim of this video is to explain how do you see ups and downs in career. Okay, so let's go here. So first, you check Mahadasha is of Rahu. Okay, so these three Mahadashas are gone, and 2011 um, Rahu Jupiter. So check what Rahu is doing in the chart. So as, as I said, we will assume uh, which sign and house in this planet is that that's the same as of now for simplicity purposes. Okay. So now what's going on here? Rahu is sitting in the seventh sign and let's assume he's in the seventh house itself. And he's in the sign of Aquarius. So uh, Rahu gives results of where he's sitting and the dispositor and the planets which aspect Rahu. Okay, not which Rahu aspects, the planets which aspect Rahu. So, now here, what's going on? Rahu is in Aquarius, so he will give results of the seventh house. And who is the Lord of Aquarius? Saturn. So, he'll also give results of Saturn. So, what is Saturn doing in the chart? He's the Lord of the sixth and the seventh. Let's assume here. And let's also assume he's in the fifth house, okay, in the Bhav chart. Let's assume like this. So that means he is giving giving results of one of the money houses, the second, sixth, tenth, and eleventh. So he's definitely giving results of the sixth house, and he's also giving results of the fifth house, which is the house of uh, promotions and uh, that feel good factor basically. And is there any other planet which aspects Rahu? Just check. Mercury doesn't aspect, Moon doesn't aspect, Venus doesn't aspect. Jupiter doesn't aspect, Sun doesn't aspect. What about Mars? He doesn't aspect either, but Saturn aspects Rahu. 
but uh, it doesn't matter even if saturn aspects are because we are all we have already taken the houses uh, which are related to saturn which is the 5th 6th and 7th so uh, we won't add more houses to rahu actually so now as you know the money houses are the second uh, 6th 10th and 11th so if one of these houses are signified uh, then uh, there is good progress in career and the 11th house is the most powerful among them and then followed by the 10th house then followed by the 6th and followed by the 2nd house now 2nd house can give you that income by which you can just sustain your like daily necessities 6th house can give you income by which you can have some savings and 10th house can give you that income by which you feel that you are doing very good in life and 11th house can give you that income by which you feel you are just doing excellent in life so now rahu indicates the 6th uh, house here so then what will he feel like during this dasha he will feel that yeah okay i am having a job and i am having some savings life's good that's how he will feel and because the 5th house is indicated so he will have good friends there and he will feel good actually and then the seventh house is also linked so something to do with marriage could also be there on cards so now we go to the antar dasha what's going on 2011 uh, jupiter antar dasha starts then saturn then mercury now let's check what's going on with jupiter now jupiter is the eighth lord here in the chart and he is situated in the 10th house and apart from this he is also the lord of the fifth house okay now you see the 10th house has suddenly come now linked with the sixth house now so uh, now what will happen is during rahu antar dasha when jupiter uh, sorry during rahu mahadasha and jupiter antar dasha uh, which is starting from uh, 2011 Uh, he will feel that uh, he got a job which made him very much happy and satisfied because now the antar dasha lord is indicating another money house okay uh, now the that's the good part and the other good thing is it's the fifth house so the person will have uh, good colleagues and nice people will surround him that's something which happens when the fifth house is linked and the person will have good training nice learning and uh, nice people to be around with but the problem here is he is also the eighth lord you see so that means uh, this, this won't happen in a traditional way there will be something unconventional you know like uh, the, the, he might get the job in an unexpected way or in ways by which uh, uh, normally people don't get a job okay so if the eighth house is linked then uh he might have to do some more okay like two three attempts may be required he may not get the job in first attempt but because the 10th house is linked so finally he will get a very good job and uh, he will feel that he is doing great in life okay uh he will be very satisfied with the 10th house so now you go to the nakshatra so rahu i didn't speak about rahu because he is in uh, satabisha which is his own nakshatra Uh, now what about jupiter jupiter is in rohini nakshatra so what about rohini uh, rohini is lorded by the moon who is the 12th lord sitting again in the 10th house okay so this could give him some opportunities to go abroad and because moon is in the 10th he will get really do very good when it comes to job then he is running saturn dasha again okay saturn antar dasha now then what about saturn saturn is the lord of the fifth sixth and the seventh again another money house is involved the sixth and the fifth is again involved the seventh is now involved so maybe talks about his marriage will go on after uh, 2014 now you go to saturn nakshatra which nakshatra is saturn sitting he is sitting in purva shada okay who is the lord of purva shada purva shada is lorded by venus who is again in the 10th house the 10th lord and the third lord so if he is into like marketing or sales or advertisement or hr or 
consulting, then he will rise during this second rasa because the third house is linked. Okay. But you have to always remember that the Saturn Dasha will be much better than Jupiter Dasha because in Jupiter the 12th house is also linked because he is in the Lakshatra of the 12th floor. So that will give some problem because he is already the 8th floor. Okay? Uh, so Venus Dasha, so Saturn Dasha will stabilize him more than Jupiter Dasha because the Lakshatra Lord of, Venus, of Saturn who is Venus is sitting in the 10th house. Okay? Then he runs Malpuri Dasha from 2016 end to July 2007, uh, 2019. So what is Malpuri? Malpuri is just stupendous, just mind-blowing. 11th Lord in the 10th house, best thing to have in the house. Too. No doubt about it. And what about Nakshatra? Malpuri is in Rohini Nakshatra again. So, Lord of Rohini Moon is also situated in the 10th house and the 12th house is linked. So, this time the 12th house may not give him trouble. This time the 12th house might take him abroad. So, he might get an on-site opportunity during this time, okay? going to some foreign country. So, that means when... Uh, now, what about Rahu Rahu? If he would have started working this time, Rahu Rahu would have been decent. Uh, nothing special. Then Rahu Jupiter, some boost, but after hard work then uh, saturn is like he would rise in areas of consulting then mercury would even further rise okay now what about ketu ketu is uh, sitting in the lagna and the lord of ketu is the sun sitting in the ninth house okay and let's check if uh, any other planet is linked with ketu mercury moon venus doesn't aspect sun doesn't aspect Mars doesn't aspect, Jupiter doesn't aspect, Saturn doesn't aspect, okay. So now the Lagna and the ninth house is linked, okay. So that means the person can uh, go for a higher education. So if the person asks you, when should I go for master? Then you could say that uh, by end of 2016, you can start applying to some colleges or foreign universities and there you could do masters, okay. Uh, so sorry, not 2016. By somewhere around 2018, he can start applying. Why? Because then, uh, by the time Ketu starts, which is July 2019, when Mercury ends, he would have gone to another place, another college, or another country for studying. Actually, now the ninth house and twelfth house, the the twelfth house is not linked uh, with Ketu's any anyway. Uh, through planetary lordship. So the person may not go abroad. The person may do it in the same country itself. Okay. Now what about Ketu's nakshatra? Let's check. Ketu is in Magha nakshatra, which is lorded by Ketu himself. Okay. So that enhances this trait of masters because ninth house is the house of higher education. So uh, then let's go to the next. Then we have Venus. Okay. Venus, the size there. So let's assume he'll do a master somewhere mid of June, mid of 2020, and uh, then in two years, by mid of 2022, under Venus Vesha, he finishes his masters. Let's assume like this, which means another two years from now, approx. So, then what about Venus? As I said already, he's the third lord in the tenth, tenth lord in tenth. Fantastic! This is Malavya Mahapurusha, great placement, and he's also in Navamsa's trines. So, he will be enjoying this period very much, learning. Uh, where is he situated? He is in Kritika Nakshatra. Who is the Lord of Kritika? The Lord of Kritika is the sun. So, again, Lagna Lord in the ninth house. Okay. So, that means education will be on limelight and um, job is also in limelight because of the ninth house and the tenth house. All right. So, during Venus, he will have stupendous rise. Then Sun Dasha is there again, something to do with education. Now, this Moon Dasha is there later. I mean, Moon, there could be some challenge again because the 12th house is involved. And then what about Mars? See, Mars is sitting in the 11th, very good. And uh, he's also the Lord of the 4th house, if you check here. And he's also the 9th Lord. So during this time, Mars Dasha, this person might come back to his homeland because the fourth house is involved. 
okay so that's how you say that this person uh, during jupiter he will have rise but uh may not be to that level then in saturn he will rise more mercury he will rise the highest then in ketu he might leave his job and go for higher education and then in venus his education will continue and he will con uh, get back to job again and then in sun again he might go into like a tutor role or educator role or something like this and moon will be a bit challenging and then mars he might return to his homeland so this is how you say you know ups and downs in his career okay when the person will leave job when the person will start education or in venus the person does both okay so this is how you that so uh, there are many things you can judge and this is just a way by which you can uh, start actually okay there are many layers to this um you can also check the navamsha chart the dashamsha chart so many things you can check okay and no harm in that you can also check the ashtak work so this is a layer to analysis of planets and nakshatras but there are so many other things which you have to check when you finally give a prediction to your client right uh, so this is just one way and there are many layers to it which you can keep adding which we shall discuss some other time all right i hope this helps you and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me then please go to my website down below God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much